Hi guys, here's an instruction or actually step-by-step -step directions as far as how to best hitchhike from place A to B when you're traveling in Europe. And if you're using couch surfing, this is basically you know the best, uh, most efficient approach that I've found so far. And what I'm using is uh, right now I'm filming with uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 as of uh, summer 2013 and I'm using a nifty software that's called Catch. It's uh, downloadable from the uh, app market, the, the Play Store on the Android market. And uh, it's a very uh, nifty um, note-taking uh, software that allows you to basically, you know, bring anything from the web as well as, you know, just jot in something a while on the go. So what I'm gonna show you is uh, how to basically uh, start your hitchhiking trip uh, beginning with the search terms so what you do is you just type in in the Google search hitchhiking Vilnius to Riga and the first link that you get is hitch wiki that's basically the easiest way not to kind of like reinvent the wheel to discover what are the best paths to take as far as getting to Riga from Vilnius. That's for my example and I'm heading out tomorrow. So what you do is you just basically see, you know, it gives you the city, right? Right here. And, you know, as far as planning goes, the best way is to basically ask your couch surfing host to use uh, his or her computer. And you can basically just, uh, you know, highlight, highlight the part that you know, tells you the directions. There are three options, option one, option two, and option three. In most cases, option one is the best one. So what you do is uh, basically open catch, right? So this is the online version of catch. Like I said, you can, you can, you can create new notes uh, and it automatically synchronizes with your Android um, catch. You know what I mean? Uh, so what I did is I created the Scandinavian uh, trip kind of a folder and all the files are within it and I named this particular one Hitchhiking Directions Vilnius to Riga and basically I pasted what I found on HitchWiki right into here okay and now the only up the only thing that it doesn't uh, basically paste is you see these links for the map okay if you press on here it actually shows you the map from point A to B and it shows you from exactly the city center of Vilnius okay so if I zoom in here you can actually see that this is the uh, the center street in Vilnius I believe it's called uh, Gedimo Gedimino you see so what you do is you, you see where the A is so wherever you're staying let's say in Vilnius right your starting point uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically copy the address of my host where I'm staying staying in uh, in Vilnius and I'm gonna basically paste it in into the uh, the A portion okay I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you the address for security reasons you know and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get directions and the map should, should automatically update and tell me how far I am from uh, let's see okay so apparently it is eight kilometers away which is pretty far if uh, the only option you have is basically you know bicycle or something like that from point A to B but um, you can find ways as far as you know getting on the bus or you know maybe there is a regional train or something like that so you essentially have to get to point B and then simply follow the instructions in HitchWiki that tells you what to do as far as like for instance in this case it says there are many buses going the, uh, this direction, blah blah blah. So, so it is also a popular spot for locals to hitchhike to their homes. Smart thing would be to go a little bit further and write your destination on the hard 
paper, basically your cardboard, and just write Riga. Do not do not ever write the name of the highway. I mean the uh, the number of the highway. No matter you know where you're going, just write the destination. So the city that you're going to. You know what I mean? So this way it's uh, much simpler for people to see where you're headed and they can just pull up. And another important thing is find ways, let's say if, like, you know, this is the spot where this is basically kind of like a, a Wikipedia for hitchhikers. And this is the picture of how this spot would look like as far as where I would have to stand in order to um, solicit for uh, rides. Okay? And what happens is you have to find ways where the cars are slowing down you know what I mean so places like uh, you know before the toll or anywhere like you know where there's like a, a traffic light or something like that or a ramp into a highway because the cars slow down and they can actually notice you because if you're somewhere in the middle of the highway somewhere although I wouldn't recommend in you know places like uh, Germany to be on the highway because the the police will come and pick you up and then you know you could get in trouble for that they're very strict about that but in uh, you know Eastern Europe uh, uh, the, there are cases when I would just get on the highway and uh, there would be no police or anything you know it's not really prosecuted okay so the, try to be not in the middle of the highway because the cars running really fast I don't know 120 kilometers an hour that's basically I don't know maybe somewhere around uh, I don't know, I wouldn't uh, probably know about 70 miles an hour or so. So they wouldn't be able to notice you. So you want to be at the gas stations, either at the entrance to the gas stations, either inside the gas station, you know, right where the pumps are, or on the ramp out of the gas station because they're still, the cars are still moving out uh, slowly, you know, into the highway. So they could see you with the sign and if they like you or whatever, like where you're going and they could just pick you up all right so that's basically it for now and like I said you know just use catch I mean in my case it works beautifully okay and just follow the directions in hitch wiki as far as how to get to the destination like where to start hitchhiking from in this case it would be the point B and and then when you press save right there you see saved okay you want to make sure you synchronize with your phone the one the phone that I'm using right now you basically have to be on the Wi-Fi in order to synchronize if you if you forget to synchronize this uh, this file this data then chances are you will not be able to read this once you're out and about and if you have an American phone without internet connectivity in Europe you're basically screwed because you will not be able to access this information all right uh, this this avoids basically writing something on paper and you know it's disposable anyway you know you, you go from point A to B and then once you're done you don't need this information you know what I mean and uh, what else what else did I cover that's basically it so your best choice for hitchhiking is HitchWiki and like I said you know if you're let's say hitchhiking from Berlin to whatever you want to go or from anywhere in the world actually this website basically is the place to go to and uh, if you have some successful hitchhiking time uh, from point A to B that you discovered yourself please feel free to share with this website so this way other hitchhikers can use your information and directions so that uh, you know for future references even for yourself when you are returning back to that destination all right Reporting live from Vilnius, Lithuania, this is Renat and I'll talk to you guys soon.